Guys, please make sure you watch this video till the very end, especially if you want to be a college entrepreneur. Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm back here at Newton School of Technology's Pune campus. Newton School of Technology needs no introduction on my YouTube channel because I have given you a tour of the Rishiot campus. The last time that I was here, I gave you the whole tour of the Pune campus. Guys, today I am here to celebrate a very important milestone with an amazing event. It's basically 100 days since the first batch of the Pune campus has joined. And in order to celebrate that, Newton School of Technology is hosting their flagship event called StarX Funding. Now guys, whenever I've toured a Newton School of Technology's campus, I've always told you about the fact that they really promote entrepreneurship and they're here to guide students who venture out into entrepreneurship and everything. But today, for the very first time, I am going to be experiencing this. Guys, I had the whole day here to spend on the campus. Today's vlog is going to cover everything from some amazing guest lectures, some amazing guests that I'm also going to try to bring on my camera. We will be talking to the students and checking the vibe on the campus today. So make sure you stay tuned and I'm pretty sure it's going to be super fun and very informative. Let's get started. Okay guys, so my first stop is going to be the central auditorium here on the campus because this is where action is happening right now. There are a lot of fire chats and panel discussions, guest lectures, everything is happening there. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay guys, there's some crazy stuff that's happening in the auditorium but now I've come to the classroom vlog because this is where a lot of events are happening. Come, come with me. So basically on one side, there are students who are currently pitching their startups and on the other side, there is 100 minutes of code that is going. So students have 100 minutes to code. I obviously will not be able to speak very loudly but let me give you a little sneak peek inside. Come, come. Okay, so this is 100 minutes of code. Oh my god, wow! Like the room looks super serious but everybody is coding it out which is really good. From one serious room to another, this is where students are actually pitching their startups which they've built in the last 100 days itself on the campus. But I have a cool idea as a consumer because I don't understand this space at all. So everything I say, please take it with a grain of salt. As soon as the cost makes sense, maybe Guys, finally featuring on my YouTube channel is Varun Maya. Varun, thank you so much for your time. Today you and I are visiting Newton School of Technology, uh, taking us back to the time when we were in college. What's that one memory of your college time that you miss or something that you would want to recall? Man, I went to Manipal. <laughs> so so uh, my favorite memory was... This is one, Manipal rains a lot, it rains a lot yeah. in Manipal. It's my favorite memory, we got dirty in the rain and it's like a bunch of people, bunch of friends who were hanging out and just like playing or whatever. I thought it was a lot of fun. Varun, a lot of people who'll be watching this are college students and they want to build, but the biggest challenge that they have is that they feel they don't have any ideas or if they have ideas, all of them have already been done, dusted or copied. So how can we really solve that for them? I mean, a very nuanced answer to this is I think most people who build a startup in college will fail. It's like the obvious thing. It has nothing to do with them. It has to do a lot with you don't understand the market well enough. Like I heard an idea today of somebody saying, well, you know, I'll solve something for hostels. Good idea, but uh, there's no money in it, right? Because you're going after all college students who are trying to make 10 rupees selling something or 100 rupees selling something. Margins are very low. But I think there's a valuable skill in learning how to build and sell, right? And I think you should be more focused on what is the meta message. What is the meta thing that I'm learning here? The meta thing I'm learning here is I'm learning to gain the confidence to say I will build something end to end because a lot of people think they can build, but then they get stuck. They do like, you know, 10% of the work and then they say, no man, it's insurmountable. Getting to 100% is tough. So I think first you prove to yourself that you can get to 100%. I think that's, that's important. 
And the second piece that's important is, okay, you've gotten to 100%. How do you sell it? How do you get in front of people? Even today when I work, when we do business, and we work with some of the largest companies in India and across the world today, right? From the NVIDIAs to the Googles to the Qualcomms of the world, uh, it's sort of like the same. It's like I'm dealing with friends and I'm like, hey, I think we can do this. And do you want to do this with us? It's not professional. It's not like, oh, here's, you know, the 10-step plan, blah, blah. It's just like, yo, I think we can do this for you. And I think we'd be happy to help Let's you with this. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. So it's the same as how I used to sell in college. It's like knock the door and be like, shirt chahiye. So I think learning that is important because there's just so many things outside of your control in a startup. And I think in my own experience, it takes five to 10 years of your ass being kicked. But you have to be confident throughout, right? Like even when you're getting an ass kicked, you can't be like, oh, I'm, I'm down and I'm slumped because your entire team is going to look at that and be like, if he's given up, then why should I, I do this? Them, yeah. So I think you learn how to wake up every day being with a smile on your face, positive about what you're doing. Despite the fact that you know you're getting your ass kicked, you, it takes like five, 10 years of getting smashed to, to, to learn that. So I don't expect your first thing to work. But slowly you keep gaining confidence and then, you know, one of those days you get lucky. I think it's yeah. been like 12, 10, 12 years we've been doing this and I think wow. we've really gotten lucky in the last couple of years. But I also feel like if you look at it from a very zoomed out perspective, there's so many years we got our ass handed to us and I think it's part of the game. And a lot more to come then, yeah? Guys, I finally caught in hold of two first year students here at Newton School of Technology's Pune campus. By the way, both of them and in fact a lot more of students have watched my videos before coming to the campus, so it feels great. Firstly, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Soham and I'm from Ghazabad, Delhi NC. What about you? And I'm Ananya Pandey, I'm from Greater Noida, Uttar Pradesh. Now, right now, I was inside the room and both of you pitched simultaneously. So, what is your startup about? So, my startup is about automatic hydroponic systems. How efficiently and how progressively we can grow plants by reducing the time and selling them in a good rate. Great. How did you come up with this idea, bro? So I think I was just traveling somewhere and I met some farmers. I discussed with them what kind of issues do you face. And suddenly I clicked, I'm good at robotics. I think I can make something for them. I can contribute to the agrotech industry. So this is how my journey started. Wow, wow. What about you? Okay. What's your startup about firstly? Okay. Uh, startup is about ro uh, robot and medical field. Okay, so it's basically Robomedica. So I got this idea in 2020. The idea was like, initially we were not having the amount of uh, doctors present at that time. So the doctors were less and the patients were like around hundred or thousands. So for everyone, uh, we have the robots. They will be doing the stuff like instant and initial stuff phase will be done by the robots and the rest will be operated by the doctors. And of course, robotic surgeries can be possible. Wow, that's great. Now guys, usually whenever somebody joins a college in the first year, their idea is to have fun, chill, make new friends and you know, enjoy life basically. Why did you both decide to start a startup? I think our college is so much excited to give us such opportunities that we never want to miss them. And definitely, uh, we do have fun. We have exciting activities planned for us, competitions every week, contests every week. So definitely we enjoy. But startup and entrepreneurship is my personal favorite. So definitely, if my college is giving an opportunity, why should we miss it? Pratik sir, thank you so much for your time. Uh, it's an honor to meet you. You've funded startups like Zepto, Rapido, Urbanic. One question I'm going to ask you is that what quality or skill set do you look for in a founder, specifically a college founder? Because a lot of people who will be watching this video are in their college, they want to build something. So what would you advise them? I would say it's three things. One is ambition. The scale of the problem you are solving, how large a company you want to build, how big a dent you want to create in this world. So that is, that is one. Second is resourcefulness. Resourcefulness is something like Jugaad. Like, can you just solve the problem given to you? Can you just, like does not matter, like it's not like a job that you're trying to dele delegate it to someone. Just figure out a solution and get it done. So do you have resourcefulness? And third, for scalability reasons, tech thinking, tech prowess, because we invest in tech companies and tech companies are, are super large companies. So these three things we, we require. And if you have all the three, then it's perfect recipe for building a interesting large company. Okay, so if, if a college student who's watching this right now is able to get all the three, should, should he or she reach out to you? Definitely, I would love to chat. Great, thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, Nishant, you yourself have been a successful founder. Why do you think it is important for students in today's time to start a startup in the first year itself? So, I think uh, 
पीपल शुड स्टार्ट स्टार्टअप अर्ली अनलेस यू रियली डोंट वॉन्ट टू देन इट्स नॉट अ नीडेड बट इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड देन यू कैन स्टार्ट अर्ली यू गेन अ लॉड ऑफ स्किल्स यू लर्न हाउ टू बिल्ड ग्रेट प्रोडक्ट्स यू लर्न हाउ टू टॉक टू यूजर्स यू लर्न हाउ टू Uh, do sales and a bunch of other things as well so uh, you gain a lot of skills that help you in the eventual job as well so uh, i am a strong recommendation ki yaar agar startup karne mein maza aata hai to early stage mein karna chahiye now uh, like you yourself have started startex fund so what has been the reason behind it yeah so i think uh, our students are quite early in their careers they're in first year second years and we want to take a bet on our students a lot of people will say from outside and say ki are to bhi bacche hain but we feel ki yaar bacche bhi bahut bada bada kaam kar sakte hain so uh, the fund is to make sure that we take a bet on our students and make sure that we uh, remove every bottleneck from their path and make them successful so startex fund will provide them fund but along with that what are the other resources or ecosystem that you're providing so we have uh, divided the program into multiple checkpoints right so starting from initiation there's a checkpoint of ideation there's a checkpoint of uh, Uh, prototyping and MVP, right? So students will get an exposure of every stage of the startup journey, and we have experts like VCs or you know creators like Varun, and then also people who are founders themselves, giving and coming very personalized advice based on the uh, very specific to the startups that the students are building, right? So we have a lot of mentors, we have a lot of resources, and we'll make sure that the students uh, become as successful as they can. Okay, guys, I've almost come to the end of my. vlog here for Newton School of Technology and specifically for the 100 days at NSC and the Startex fund I absolutely loved each and every minute that I spent here on the campus and I loved the vibe guys I talked to the students and I really liked it everybody was very warm and welcoming uh, I had good chats with them I really like when students come and talk to me along with that I hope you all got to learn a lot about college entrepreneurship funding and how you know events are happening here at Newton School of Technology The last thing by the way to do was passport to explore. This is where all the clubs had put up stalls here on the campus. So there was a creators club, Shakespeare's club, astronomy club, sports club, orators club and thank you students who gave me free cold coffee and I really liked it. Thank you so much guys for watching this video till the very end. If you like it please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any doubts, question, queries, anything you tell you specifically want to know about Newton School of Technology. I would love to help. and do not forget to share and subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you all again take care guys bye